Hey, welcome back to The Market Investor. I'm Daniel Snyder. Thank you so much for coming back and checking out this new video. Uh, had two things I wanted to talk to you about real quick. First things first, which I think is most important. Um, you know, I've been talking to a lot of people and you're seeing this jump in the market right now. Yesterday we had a huge gain in the Dow Jones, over 1,600 points. That is, I think, what overtook the third largest move in the Dow Jones, um, as well as SPX, NASDAQ, all the indexes are following suit. And it's, it's, it doesn't feel too great, to be honest. It doesn't feel like it's on solid footing. Um, even today, even though it's still up right now, today alone, as I'm doing this 700 points midday, uh, I don't know if it's going to hold. And the reason I don't think it's going to hold, I don't know if it's going to hold, is because we don't know what stocks are worth right now. The way you value a stock is, you know, you calculate them off what's called a price to earnings ratio. So you take what the earnings of the company are per quarter, you take what the share price is, you divide that, and the price divided by the earnings gives you the PE ratio, which helps you determine if $200 is too much for a stock, if the stock should be at 150 right? So it helps you as an investor or a day trader evaluate what you are willing to pay for the share of stock. And what we have going on right now with the coronavirus and everything is the majority of companies have came out and they said we are pulling our guidance from the market and because we just don't know what earnings are going to be. Because it goes back to the consumer demand that we continue to talk about in regards to the cruise ship stocks. There's no consumer demand. There's consumer demand for Netflix, for uh, potentially this new Quibi app that just came out. There's consumer demand for groceries. There's consumer demand for toilet paper, obviously. There's consumer demand for utilities such as internet, electricity, water. Those are the things that you're going to want to be looking at, honestly. Um, that is where people will continue to spend money. And they'll continue to spend money on uh, mortgage payments and rent. Hopefully they can afford it during this time. So just get in that mindset. That's how I want you to think. I want you to sit back and go, what am I spending money on right now while I am staying at home, staying with my family, eating food, whatever it is. Um, think about the things that you are spending money on and then think if other people are spending money on the exact same thing because obviously that's where the consumer demand is. Everything else is really cut off. Uh, especially travel, luxury, anything like that, I wouldn't touch it right now until we get consumer demand back up and going. The second thing to touch on real quick is the dividend reinvestment plan. This kind of goes off of the shares of stock, right? So what is a dividend reinvestment plan? It is one of the best vehicles you can have as an investor to just compound your interest of your money and just have your investment take, take off and go to the moon, right? Dividend reinvestment plan is something I highly, highly recommend. Uh, in Robinhood, you can actually go into the settings and you can enable dividend reinvestments. If not, they'll send you a, a cash payment, which you'll have to put under your taxes at the end of the year as a, a short-term capital gains tax. Um, and you don't want to do that, right? If you're investing, you just want to put your money in. You want to hold it for the long run. Um, and again, this is an investor, not a day trader not a swing trader, an investor. An investor is someone who buys and they hold it for a long amount of time. A day trader, a swing trader, is somebody that's looking to make a large amount of gains under the timeline of a year. So you know I love dividend stocks and I actually just wanna jump into Thinkorswim real quick and show you how you can take the earnings per share or the EPS and add it next to the stocks in your watch list just so you can um, know what they're paying out every quarter. Now, keep in mind with everything going on right now, these are most likely going to change. These will not remain where they are from the prior quarter from Q4 of uh, last year. So let's jump in real quick. So as you can see, I have my watch list going. We are in the middle of the day right now. Um, we, we are seeing this push up again on the Dow. SPX is the same way. Um, it's having a push up as well. So this is the last two days. I'm not sure this is exactly gonna hold. We'll find out soon enough. But just to come into, this is one of my favorite watch lists right here. And I also have some specs down here, speculation stocks that I always follow like Boeing and GE. Shopify is one right now, uh, just because people are staying at home and they're doing digital uh, processing of payments. So when you jump into the watch list, open trades, you're gonna click this little gear icon right here. And when you click that, you can click customize. You can add different fields uh, to this area. So earnings per share, I just put EA, EA, I want to put it add item. And then I kind of like to stack my watch list in a certain way. So I'll have the symbol on the left. I'll have the percentage change, the net change. 
the last price of what was sold or bought. Then you have the bid and the ask so I can see what the spread is. And so we're gonna add earnings per share. I wanna keep it above volume. I love having volume on the right side. And what you'll just have to do is expand this right here. So let's look at some of these real quick. So Microsoft earnings per share, $25. Uh, you have Apple on here, earnings per share, $5.11. And if you go to a 184 hour, you can see down here at the bottom of what these dividends are, right? So every quarter there was $2 here, $3 here, $4 here. Um, keep in mind that we're probably not going to hit that on this next round, but I just wanted to show you that and you can keep that there to help you evaluate your, uh, possibility of buying that share stock in that company. So one thing I just want to touch on as well is that, uh, eventually when you have dividends buying you more shares of stock and you just let this thing ride into the future, eventually you're going to get to a point where every quarter those dividends from that 50, 100, 150, 7,000 shares of stock will start buying you more shares of stock. That is the point you wanna to get to. That momentum, it's like a snowball falling down a hill, right? Eventually it grows and grows and grows and grows. And you just wanna have that driving force. And you wanna to get to that point where the uh, dividends are literally just buying you one share of stock, five shares of stock, 10 shares of stock. Because at that point, it's just exponential. And the gains that you can see from this kind of strategy is just tremendous and helps establish a good foundation for your retirement. Um, I'll say one company that I've held for a long time for full disclosure is RPM. And it's an automotive stock, but during the financial crisis even, it was one of the best stocks to own. It uh, pays dividends every quarter and it just continues to buy me new shares of stock every single quarter. Um, I would highly recommend you to look at it. Uh, if you wanna get into it, you can. If not, that's fine as well. I just think the reason that I continue to hold it is that even if electric vehicles become the new standard. I mean, some of the products that they own are um, car cleaners. They're a very chemical focused company. They have, they even bought a company that makes duct tape. Um, their products are just staple items that I don't see disappearing anytime soon. And as well, if they increase the pricing power of 50 cents on each product, I still believe that people will buy their product. And the leadership is great as well. But that's all I have for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something from it. I hope you're uh, continuing to learn because that's what this is all about, to help change your mindset into getting into that spot to where you can make the decisions yourself. That's really what it is. I, I don't wanna go out there and just say, go buy this stock, go sell this stock. I, I'll, I'll tell you stocks to watch. I'll tell you things that are going on. But at the end of the day, I'm trying to help get your brain to the point where you can make your own decisions and evaluate a stock, evaluate a company, evaluate what's going on and make the right decisions for yourself. Uh, so I hope you hit subscribe and I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have any questions, let me know. Hit us up on Twitter, Instagram, the whole thing, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>